if we recognize what we are made of and how we are made and put together, the rest is an extension. And I can still go back to say that it's your consciousness and your awareness of all this. So all that I have said is all along the line that I don't want to make anything. What I am doing is living the livingness of life and using all these things to extend this awareness. She really overturned any stereotypes about the, the nature of the work of women artists. It's very difficult to uh, to forget Eloise Nevelson. I mean, her image is, uh, is so uh, firm and so solid. Her energy was so crystallized, particularly by the 70s, that um, I guess it would scare most people. She, she was a, a a hard-drinking, hard-living woman who didn't want to be dragged down by all the supposed, perceived, old-fashioned stereotypes of, of the uh, weak, submissive, obedient, disciplined woman. I knew her for 40 years, but um, the last 14 years uh, when I was on the Bowery, my address was Spring Street, and uh, she was on Spring Street. And uh, it was just uh, work, work, work. Be embarrassed to talk about being happy. She said, that's ridiculous. The only thing that matters is work. As far as Louise was concerned, her work was, was Louise. She was determined to let the world know who she was at all cost, and no one was going to stop her because she knew her worth, don't you see? And then it was her own dedication. She obviously, uh, she was her own goddess, and it isn't, uh, it isn't every artist who is their own goddess. She did want very much to take her cubist being and put it in a form that had not seen, been seen before, and she did just that, and that is her greatness. My whole life has been centered. You can use the word self-center if you wish. I think it's a great word. Who am I going to center myself on if not on my inner self? If you're interested in art and the uniqueness of the important artist, all you need to do, it's not complicated, look at the work. very few artists who are comfortable with no color. Black is the absence of color. And very few artists are comfortable working. Uh, they, they need the blue, greens, yellows, and reds uh, to be able to carry forth uh, uh, whatever their vision or their impression is of what they're looking at. Louise was looking inside her and she wasn't seeing color. She was seeing ideas and concepts uh, philosophical ideas, emotional reactions to something in her life or to something that had happened on the street. So that the color was not necessary for her to bring forth an emotion, 
The emotion was more in the structure that she was creating. You know, it might be discarded uh, toilet seats and, and wooden boxes from the street, but, but she managed to transform all of that into something very moving and very beautiful. She made sense and order and solidity out of chaos. Those strewn objects along the street became these beautiful moving objects once they went through the transformative hands and eyes and, and heart of Louise Nevelson. <laughs>